Hi, I'm Helen Copeland-Smith from Time2 Resources. Welcome to this video on understanding price elasticity of demand. This is part two, which will look at how to calculate the coefficient and how to rearrange the formula. If you want to make notes as you follow the video, why not download the handy PDF note taker? The link is available in the description box below. PD is a measure of the responsiveness of demand to a change in price. The relationship between price and demand is inverse. This means if the price goes down, the quantity demanded will go up and vice versa. Therefore, it is expressed as a negative. In economics, we sometimes use absolute numbers and therefore we ignore the minus. This was covered in part one of this series of videos. So how do we calculate the PD? First of all, the formula is percentage change in quantity demanded over percentage change in price. We can also express this using the triangle symbol to represent change. We calculate change by the changed divided by the original multiplied by 100. The result of this will give us the coefficient as shown below. Let's have a look at a numerical example. Here we have a relatively high-end trainer. It's likely to be bought by a sports enthusiast and probably has some degree of brand loyalty. The price is going to increase from £120 to £138. As a consequence of this, the quantity demanded will fall from 100,000 units to 90,000 units. So, what is the price elasticity of demand? Let's start by calculating the top line of our formula, the percentage change in quantity demanded. The quantity demanded is going to fall from 100,000 units to 90,000 units. So the first thing we do is we calculate the difference, so 90,000 minus 100,000, and divide it by the original of 100,000 units before multiplying by 100. This gives us a percentage change in quantity demanded of minus 10%. Secondly, we calculate the bottom line of our formula. The price increases from £120 to £138. So we take the change or the difference divided by the original and multiply by 100. This gives us a percentage change in price of 15%. We now have the two necessary parts of our formula. Percentage change in quantity demanded was minus 10%. Percentage change in price was 15%. This gives us a PD coefficient of minus 0.67. What does that mean? Well, if we look at our table, we can see that it means this is an inelastic product. Let's look at a second numerical example. Here we have an expensive men's watch. The price is going to decrease from £2,500 to £2,375. As a result of the fall in price, the quantity demanded is going to rise from 50,000 units to 55,000 units. So what is the PD? Why not pause the video whilst you carry out this calculation? So how did you get on? You should have worked out that the price elasticity of demand is minus 2. The percentage change in quantity demanded was 10%. The percentage change in price was minus 5%. This gave us the PD coefficient of minus 2. What does this mean? This shows us that our expensive men's watch has an elasticity of minus 2 and is therefore elastic. We can also rearrange the formula. If we're giving any two of the three variables, we can calculate the third variable. So, percentage change in quantity demanded equals 12%. PD equals minus 1.5. What is the percentage change in price? Well, we know the 12%, the top of the formula, and we know the answer, the minus 1.5 PD. Therefore, to calculate the change in price, we simply divide these two figures. This gives us our answer, the percentage change in price was 8%. Here's a second example. This time, we're told the percentage change in price, the bottom left of our triangle. We're told the PD, the bottom right of our triangle. And this time, we've been asked to calculate the percentage change in quantity demanded. Why not pause the video whilst you calculate the percentage change in QD? How did you get on? Let's see. 
we first of all put the information we know into our formula. So we have the unknown, the percentage change in QD, divided by 10 equals minus 0 0.6. If we look at our diagram to the left, we can see that we must therefore multiply these two figures together. So we can now calculate the percentage change in quantity demanded was 6%. What were the key points in this video? We can calculate PD using the formula percentage change in QD divided by percentage change in price. How do we calculate percentage change? We take the change or the difference between our two numbers divided by the original and multiplied by 100. Calculating PD gives us a coefficient. We can use this coefficient to identify whether a product is elastic or inelastic. If we're giving any two of the three variables, we can always calculate the third, using this handy diagram to remember what we need to do. Thank you for watching and listening to this video on understanding price elasticity of demand, the coefficient. If you haven't already watched part one, why not do so now? If you have, then move on to watch part three on how to use graphical representation to explain PD. If you haven't already done so, why not subscribe to the Time to Resources YouTube channel?